Right, good morning everyone, I hope it's working. Um, this is the last part of the Pliny, the fifth uh, video, the fifth section from the excerpt of this letter, lines 14 to 18. You will recall that Pliny has been moaning to his friend about the Circus Maximus, the chariot racing therein, and how um, petty and pointless the races are. How, um, how it's random, the way the crowd support different colour cloths, different colour shirt colours, and uh, that's all it's really about. It's not about skill. And he the, the uh, section just before this has ended with the idea that even some serious people, some people who, who he, Pliny, would have thought would be more educated and more mature and more sensible, um, have been captivated by this kind of pleasure, have been uh, be, become obsessed by the, the chariot racing. So he finishes off by talking about how he feels so much more superior to those um, serious, educated people who are into the chariot racing because he spent his time writing, studying, um, rather than wasting his time. So this begins with quos ego cum recordor. That quos refers back to those men earlier, the serious men. So cum is when, isn't it? When, ego, I. Uh, recordor means I remember, or think about. So when I think about those men, quos, um, or rather when I think that they, because we have an indirect statement here because because of, of the infinitive afterwards, so um, when I think that these men desidere, um, which means to sit idly, so greedily, so insatiably, in a matter, in a thing, in a business, which is, we have three adjectives piled one after the other here, emphasizing uh, what he thinks of the whole thing. In a business which is inane, our word, pointless, frigid, means cold or boring, and never-ending or continuous. So when I think that these men sit idly so, sorry, sit so, sit idly so greedily in a matter which is pointless, boring, and never-ending. So he thinks to himself about these serious men wasting their time. Ego, capio, I take, aliquam voluptatem, a certain pleasure. So he enjoys the fact that he can think about these guys wasting their time. Why is that? Why can he take a pleasure? And here we have a clever Plinian little trick. Um, I take a certain pleasure because, known capio, I am not taken, I am not captivated, hark voluptate, by this pleasure. So you see the parallel here, you've got capio voluptatem, I take a pleasure, because non capior voluptate, I'm not taken by this pleasure. There's a nice chiasmus there, which is a kind of sandwiching word order, like abba, capio, and then voluptatem, and then voluptate capior. The change from active to passive there um, brings out the meaning very clearly. So I take a certain pleasure because I'm not taken by this pleasure. So he enjoys the fact that he's not enjoying the chariots, basically. And, ac, per hosties, through these days, during these days, libentissime, very gladly, colloco, I spend, otium meum, my leisure time, my spare time, in literis, in my letters, in my writing. Okay, so all this time while the races are going on through these days, I'm, I spend my leisure time really happily in my writing and then the quote here refers back to the days days which I would say there those men pedant waste or lose in otiotissimis occupationibus in completely pointless um, occupations or activities in very lazy shall we say okay in very lazy activities and you see again the paradox here, which we had a bit with the two kinds of pleasure here. Um, he spent his otium, his free time, his spare time writing. They waste their time in otiotissimis, which is an adjective form from otium. It means kind of very, very free timey business. So he, he's trying again to make a contrast between himself and the other serious men who like the chariot racing. So. When I, when I recall or think that these men 
uh, sit idly so greedily in a matter which is pointless, boring and never-ending, I take a certain pleasure because, or in that, I am not taken by this, this very pleasure. And through these days, I very happily spend my leisure time in letters, in my writing, days which those men waste in very pointless or very lazy activities. There we go. That's Pliny on the races. <laughs>